Okay, guys, so what I've done is fill this up with argon. There's a little air in there, but I fill it up with argon. And what I want to see is if we can get a plasma in here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on the arc. And there's no arc because it only happens under vacuum. Well, there's a little arc. Ooh, that's neat. Here, I'll show you a little bit better here. So, that's what's going on inside right now because of the argon. If it will focus... Alright, so let's go ahead and... I think I'm just going to hold the camera right here and we'll kick on the vacuum pump. Yeah, a little bit of plasma type action going on there. I think it's a little bit better than it was. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and change the frequency. We'll use some cool stuff with the uh, frequency. I'm probably sucking in air, so. But, there's that for now. We'll continue on. Ah, okay. Well, I've been overdriving my flyback and I had burned it up. So we're back to the 10,000 volt DC supply. And I kind of wanted to show you something cool here. Depending on how much vacuum I'm pulling, right now I've got this closed off. Depending on how much vacuum I'm pulling, my arc gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. So right now we're under a lot of vacuum. And what, what I like about it, whenever it's under a lot of vacuum, if this will allow me to focus again, what you can see is actually stuff flying off the bottom there. Still focused on my. Gotta get a little closer. There, see the little sparks flying off? Yeah, I still gotta get closer. See the sparks flying off there? Now, if I open the vacuum again, that's how big my arcs get. It's so bright, burning my camera, probably. But if I close off my vacuum again, and my vacuum sucks in more and more and more and more and more, 
and what I get is this nice arc and those little those little shards flying off. This is carbon still. But I'm thinking those little shards flying off there is a good thing. Just need some more current. Alrighty then, everybody. So I've been playing with this um, ionization breaking down of uh, materials, trying to turn them into ions. And uh, I just come across a thought. Thanks to the live show, they asked me a question. And uh, I came up with an answer. I think that makes perfect sense. Why DC versus AC? What does it matter? Well, here's what matters. In the demonstration that I just showed right now, you can see that I am creating a spark flying off one side and material coming off and the other side is not it's actually not doing anything um, it's probably transferring to the other one to be honest because that's kind of the way those things work but what we're looking for is a particular polarity of ions in my opinion you have negative and positive ions and so the argon is actually negatively or positively ionized okay depending on which way you want to do it um, and the ions that you're creating need to be the opposite polarity or the same polarity depending on how you want it to link up. So if you create positive and negative ions with an AC source, then it's not going to work correctly. Makes sense to me. And in Stan's patents, you see that in his vacated, I'm thinking vacuumed, chamber, there is two dots, one solid, one not solid. That is polarity. So, those are my answers on that, and you guys can give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Back to the experiment. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like with argon. And uh, vacated argon. So I'm going to turn the argon back on. That's what it looks like. Those are going to be some cool shots. That's what the argon is flowing through it. And there I've closed off the argon and it's creating a vacuum right now. And slowly but surely as we create a vacuum, we start seeing more and more and more of our plasma. And we'll get to a point where you can actually see the material breaking off of both sides. There you can see it up on top. And if you look close, you can see it down on the bottom, too. I'm thinking this is going to be a two-part video. <laughs> I'm going to let the argon go back in. I'm actually controlling it with a pinch in the hose. Now you can see when I give it more or less or a lot more. I really see the plasma there or a lot less. Now if I just let it wide open we get back to that point. But if I give it less and less and let it pull the vacuum. We really get a nice plasma effect. Pretty cool. Look how far over that thing's pulling. I'm just controlling the argon with a pinch in the hose, like I said, to try to get the best view on this thing. And there is a really nice plasma. So it's really a balance. Cool. 
pretty cool. Just playing around trying to learn some stuff. Yeah. Can't find the button. Okay, everyone. So this is nails in a vacated chamber. That's what it looks like. So that is AC. AK the chamber. I've just got a vacuum pump on it. And that is AC. So let's go ahead and hook up our DC and see what kind of results we get. It's kind of cool though. Plasma field around the outside of the nails. Alright guys, so this is DC. Now don't forget that this is capacitors. This is DC voltage with capacitors on it. That's what it looks like. You can see, I don't know, I think it's just the camera. So you can see like a little plasma field there, but I, I think it's just the camera. It won't focus very well on it. About the best we got there. I need to try to do an autofocus. Let's try this. There we go. Yeah, well, we tried. And now we're getting it. So you can see some stuff flying off the bottom of that one nail. That's DC. Boop, boop.